Hi guys, this is Tim and I want to go a little technically for you. So um, this is a program I have built for my own and for a friend called Electronic. He's using this for his live sets and um, it's um, a very incredible useful tool for me or for us because it's a way of uh, controlling the whole global uh, um, controllers and MIDI periphery I have here. and. Um, yeah, so the, the the cool thing is I can conf configure and, and lay out my own controller setup here. So if I would like to add a slider, I can just do it and uh, add a slider or I can add a rotary or a button or something. Yeah, so um, for at least, yeah, let's take a slider and uh, I can take it and put it there or there, per drag and drop. This is very cool. And um, I can even add pages here on the bottom. Yeah, I can show you later on. I want want to keep it short. And um, yeah, so um, I already prepared for you a, a, a little example. So if I uh, move this, look to the uh, left and to the right of of the screen here. So at the left, I uh, uh, with the mouse move my uh, slider here. And what it does, it sends the MIDI messages over to Ableton Live here. And uh, this is uh, locally Ableton Live. But imagine you can just uh, use a network driver and have this Ableton Live running on another PC and then the world turns out to be fantastic, yeah? So you can still use your uh, uh, layout here uh, to, to control Ableton Live on the remote computer, for example, or you can even uh, choose a MIDI driver to um, uh, uh, control these devices here. Yeah, so you just have to know about the the address of these rotaries. Put this address over here, select the right driver, and then it's working out. So if you are really interested in it, let me know. Um, so um, the, the the last thing I want to show it's the software is really for free. So uh, I am at uh, GitHub, just like every or proper developer in this world uh, is supposed to be. And here you can see the, the address, uh, github.com Tim Sousa Mini Bricks releases. And there you have um, the download and installer for Mac, Win and Raspberry Pi. So most of you will uh, use the EXA or the uh, Mac Zip. Uh, you can just click here, download it and then uh, extract the application and just double click it and then you have it. Uh, no cost, there is no um, virus in it, there's no Trojan in it, <laughs> yeah. So it's uh, incredible, I made this all for free for you if you like to have it. Okay, bye.